What's good, you two? Welcome back to some more of the Outer Worlds. And you better believe it. We're still on this mystery, mystery, mystery murder case. Mystery. The Midway Moto case uh, of Helen. Halcyon Helen. Helen Halcyon, whatever her name is. And, uh. Excuse me? Hmm. And like I, I said in the last episode, I feel like I'm getting further behind because I don't know. Hey. Oh. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. For type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. <coughs> Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. Loading auto mechanical unit K14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported. Why does he sound like that? How can this auto mechanical assist you? This dude sounds. <laughs> Certainly. Access panel is now unlocked. Ejecting data log 17C alert. Failsafe protocol triggered. Kill mode Preparing to end the user? Preparing to end user. Understood. This unit is programmed to facilitate user queries. <laughs> Kill mode, pause. User termination to follow. The ejected data log contains instructions to move cargo shipment six, eight, seven, five outside the boundaries of this the dude sounds like he's possessed, bro. <laughs> instructions to move randomized cargo shipments outside the boundaries of the shipping yard at intervals of one to four days. Apologies. This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. All right, go ahead and pummel me. Kill mode re-engaged. <laughs> have a nice day. Is it just... Oh, God damn it. It's all of them. God damn it, I'm stuck on the body. Hey! Bad robot. We gotta go back to this homeboy over here. Do we'll get the team healed up real quick? There we go. Hey, Inspector. To what do I owe the Don't inspector me. Oh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? Get too excited. Well, that is disappointing. Still, you said you've determined how the theft is occurring. Damn, you're good. Hacking the Automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. Uh. So, 
Our culprit had something specific they wished to acquire and used the random theft as a smokescreen. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. Thank you. And that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. Am I right to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. Oh. I sent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. Oh. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. Yes, I suppose we have. There is, however, a slight chronological incongruency to it. Incongruency. Now I have a motive to kill Halcyon Helen, but Halcyon Helen is already dead. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. Again, I appreciate your assistance with this matter, and with a larger mystery at hand. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now... If you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns. Hand cannon? Oh. Man, there's so much cool stuff in here. So now we have to go... Go back to the penthouse. And to be fair, he is right. Up until her death, we didn't really see any motivation from him to kill her. Until obviously after that, the robots were the robot was already hacked and she already stole. Closely, I trust. Tell me what you found. Of course, he's got an alibi. He runs Sublight Underground. He probably starts his day by preparing half a dozen alibis. With that in mind, do you think Cedric was responsible for Helen's death? No. I feel like it's this guy. I feel like this guy killed her. I don't know why. No motive. That's disappointing, because it's exactly the conclusion he'd want us to make. Unfortunately, even I don't have the authority to detain Cedric. His line of work is dangerous, though. There's always a chance for an accident. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've already lost Dr. Blossom and Constable Keen, but at least Cedric's alive. The universe is a just... Name the murderer if you're ready. Oh my god, I don't know who killed her. What do you mean? I'm confident you finished your investigation. Oh you my god. All your suspects. I've been waiting for this. Oh my god. Tell me Please tell me he's at least an option, dude. Halcyon, help. Oh. Okay. Okay, you guys ready for this? I'm gonna click him. And if he's not the killer, so help me. I 
beg your pardon. You think I killed Halcyon Helen? I can lie and say I got proof. There's nothing to prove. I don't understand. Are you trying to make a mockery of justice or are you really this incompetent? I expect you to deliver the name of Helen's killer. I expect you to deliver results, Inspector. And if you can't withstand the pressure, then I expect you to resign. We're done. Your services are no longer necessary. I'm defensive, Inspector, because I'm under attack. I am assaulted by your perfidious and baseless accusations. You're convinced I murdered Halcyon Helen. Fine. Show me some evidence. Um... If you have no proof, then you have no... Oh god, it's this is not no good. further use for you. Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. Forget what I said. I'm... Damn it. Someone's interfering with my... There's no answer. Well, seems like I was incorrect in my assumption. <laughs> Oops. Uh, damn it. It's hard, okay? I'm not a very good detective. Improvised weapons deal vastly more damage. What the fuck's an improvised weapon? Like a shovel or a rake? Oh, I... Okay. Uh... Sure. Okay, well... That dude's probably under attack. He's probably dead. God, I really hope it wasn't someone... God, I haven't been there before. Okay. I really hope it wasn't one of the guys I already interviewed. It had to have been one of the guys I interviewed if he's not the killer. Oh, which means I fucked up. How do I get down there? I gotta go this way. Oh, fuck, no! <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go over to the distillery. Hopefully find our guy not dead. What if it wasn't any of them? What if it was some other off-script person? I mean, Nyoka was saying that it's always the boyfriend that did it, so maybe it was the boyfriend that did it. Feel like dealing with that. God, don't tell me I fucked up. Did I fuck up? Wait. She's alive? No, it's you. I have a feeling you'd catch up to me sooner or later, Inspector. I was just hoping you'd find me standing over the administrator's corpse. What in law's name? Halcyon Helen, how are you still alive? Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the building. Would you mind letting him know I'm about to blow his whole operation to flinders? 
I... Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aetherwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Alinda. Are you serious? What? Halcyon Helen's got a twin sister? I, I mean, yeah, it's obvious. You know, uh, if you shut up, Felix. Think about it. Linda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda paid the price. So am I. I'm sorry I wasn't there for her. I'm sorry I couldn't protect her. Well, goddamn. Killing the administrator won't bring her back. But it'll feel good. I have no regrets. I did exactly what I, I knew did. he was the killer, dude. I'd do it again. If it means defending Halcyon's future, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not parasites. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. <laughs> they belong to the highest order of life forms. Capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host. A bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. In its natural state, the relationship between symbiote and host is perfectly harmless. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I report back to his master you're being paranoid i barely knew the fellow don't try to deny it anywhere belinda and i went that mascot was there just watching us with those cold dead eyes <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all <clears throat> he yeah he was in there in my suite dude Gosh, this is what a plot twist. <clears throat> No, fuck you, dude. I don't want to deal with all these. No one wants to be infected by a parasite to, in order to feel real happiness, okay? Sounds good to me. Let's get out of here. We don't have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I've sealed the bulkhead doors. 
You're staying right where you are. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Your death should be instantaneous. Goodbye, Inspector. Helen, we won't meet again. Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out. Follow me and stay close. Where am I supposed to go? Oh shit. Oh shit. What the hell? Oh fag. Run. Hurry. Run. Run. We made it. Nice work, Inspector. Uh oh. We may have put a stop to Ludovico's <clears throat> operations, but he's still at large. He's probably gone into hiding, so we're going to root him out. This entire complex has been exposed to those parasites. Law only knows how many they've infected. Most of them won't even know they're carrying a parasite inside of them. If they're showing symptoms, it's probably already too late. Boundless energy, insufferable joy, an almost saccharine attitude of optimism. Then just like that, parasites bursting out of their bodies, fat and wriggling with vital energy. You're a step ahead of me, Inspector. Clearly a woman of many talents. An airborne pesticide of some kind. I think you may be onto something. Let's meet back at your penthouse. We'll ready our next move. Alright, let's just get out of here. <clears throat> she had a twin. She had a twin sister and her twin sister's the one that died. That's crazy. Strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. I appreciate the sympathy, Inspector. Thank you. I'll appreciate your help even more. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not going to sit idly by. If you can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, I'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. Oh. This is Halcyon. Everyone's already miserable. A little more despair isn't going to make a difference. We're going to need two ingredients. A sample of essence of Sprat, and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. Well, I'm glad one of us is an expert. Most of what I know is based on Dr. Blossom's notes. Here's what I understand. Sprats have an adaptive immune system. They don't suffer from the diseases and parasites they carry. It's one reason why you'll see them in every corner of the colony. Dr. Blossom experimented with Sprats and accidentally discovered a way to become immune to the parasites. That's probably when she decided to switch to human testing. Mm. You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Use the ingredients to synthesize an antiparasitic. I'm glad I could count. Easy on enough, that. I guess. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. Are you worried I'm going to shoot you in the back?
You're right. You do deserve the spotlight. Here. You take good care of my needler, and it'll take good care of you. Thanks. There is one other thing. While you're at Perea's spaceport, have a word with Cedric Kincannon. I know Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Best of luck, Inspector. I'm counting on you. And, yeah, an another level up. All right. Um, let's just do Intimidate and Persuade. Also, does how good is the Needler? Is this thing any good? No, it fucking sucks. But it's a science weapon, which is pretty neat. It's the second highest damage dealing science weapon I got. Okay, so I think from here, if I could start to do maybe these side quests real quick before we keep going, I hope it's not too late. If it's brown, drink it down. That is disgusting. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing these last two uh, side quests for Eridanos. Does everything want to attack me now? No. Oh. Yeah, my job's not to save them, so... Wait. Oh. Jesus Christ. Raptophobia. Repeated encounters have lessened your effectiveness when they're attacking you or your companions. Somehow that don't surprise me. How exciting. Hey. I saw you meander on out of the pool and into the greenhouse. Now you're here. Does that mean what I think it means? Good. If you're interested in burying the pool, I'm interested in paying you. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I just want Rizzo's working relationship with Slug to implode for the benefit of Spacer's choice. But you're right. It ain't high profile. And it ain't gotta be. Any damage to Rizzo's is cause for celebration. You ain't gotta concern yourself with my spite. Consider me an average Byzantine, and I'll consider you an average contractor. Okay. That's great to hear. Or grand, as the Byzantines are so fond of saying. Not that I ain't one. There's a chemical mixing machine in the greenhouse that has more than a few volatile chemicals. Mix them and render that pool unusable. Anything that ain't a cleaner should do. Dump the mix into the pool, then find somebody in Slug and tell them you did it for Rizzo's. That'll get those damn bastards into some red water. This here's a messy business, friend. And when it comes to messy businesses, the rules always the same. Don't uh, be too curious, whether it's about Saltuna additives or espionage. Spacer's choice didn't ruin anything. Rizzo's did. And ain't that a coincidence? But it's also going to be Rizzo's that permanently puts that pool out of commission. Okay. Dandy, come on back once you've done your deed. Well, is that guy going to yell at me? That's watching the pool if I do that. Because look, he's just standing there. 
full filter. <clears throat> Okay, well, I guess he didn't care. Okay, he's still up there. All right. Sublight underground reputation. I don't remember what my relationship with them was anyway. Is there a way to see that? I might have to check that. There's nothing but an acrid mess of concrete, I hear. Hope I'll hear the sound of Rizzo's heads hitting the floor next. Glad you got something out of it. All I ever feel is a dull ache in my chest. Here's your pay. Spacer's Choice thanks you for your contributions to future profits. I mean, I got XP, I guess. Did you give me anything else? Eh, 1,200. All right, so I guess that's done that. I'm by quicker than I thought. Um... So now we got this next, we got one more side quest to do. And I think in the next episode is when I'll start that off. And then we can finish off Aridanos, hopefully, along with that side, side quest. So thank you guys all so much for watching. And as usual, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.